like my chickens live, okay? I like them dead, deep fried. You ever heard of Popeyes? Upon its release, the Popeyes fried chicken sandwich became a social media sensation after quickly selling out. So let's bite in to 10 ways Popeyes chicken sandwich changed fast food. Things have changed. Mega marketing. Sell me this pen. The goal of any new menu item introduced by a fast food chain is to increase sales. Not only the sales of the particular item, but sales in general by getting more people to come to the stores. When Popeyes introduced their fried chicken sandwich in August of 2019, they were hoping they had a hit on its hands. But Popeye wasn't quite prepared for how big the reaction would be. The fast food chain's August sales jumped 20% with the introduction of the new sandwich. This number would have been even higher, but the fried chicken sandwich sandwich sold out in two weeks. I need more. I want more. Popeyes redoubled its efforts and relaunched the sandwich in November, and its sales jumped even more the second time around. Apex Marketing Group, one of the top firms in the field, estimated that the publicity generated on social media by people who loved the new sandwich handed the fast food chain $65 million in equivalent media value, or basically that amount of free advertising. Popeyes likes free things too, so it knew it had something it could use to generate even more sales. This unexpected marketing prowess is one of the ways Popeye's chicken sandwich changed fast food. Expanding the brand. We're growing. We're expanding. Popeye's Chicken is a successful fast food chain, but it isn't in the same league with giants like McDonald's and KFC. Any chance a relatively modest chain has to expand its brand is an opportunity it has to embrace. Popeye's embraced the furor on social media that was caused by the release of its fried chicken sandwich in August of 2019. The chain used the interest in the sandwich to expand traffic to Popeye's locations and increase sales. If you went to Popeye's for the sandwich, you probably bought fries and a drink as well. Yeah, but I love to eat. More importantly, however, the publicity that was generated by the sandwich drove new customers to Popeye's, customers who had never been to Popeye's and had no intention to go until they heard about the chicken sandwich. After the release of the sandwich, customer traffic increased at the fast food chain by triple digits. According to marketing research, fast food customers are a pretty loyal bunch and stick to their favorite places. Popeye's chicken sandwich changed this dynamic, with people who never had any interest in going to Popeye's suddenly making a special trip just to try the sandwich. Access is everything. Gary Giggles. Access denied. Even the bigwigs at Popeyes were caught off guard by the viral success of its fried chicken sandwich when it debuted in the summer of 2019. Numerous social media posts and local news outlets documented customers waiting in long lines outside their local Popeyes for a chance to buy a fried chicken sandwich. Too many customers were disappointed, and within two weeks, the fast food chain had run out of the widely sought after sandwich. This situation put a spotlight on Popeyes' capacity to serve its customers. This scrutiny and the improvements that resulted because of it is another way Popeye's chicken sandwich changed fast food. This is revolution, Kevin. Fortunately for Popeye's and its customers, the chain had already expanded the number of stores it operates to 3,400. While that many locations may seem impressive, it's small potatoes compared to the big fast food chains that operate tens of thousands of locations spread around the globe. However, the expansion did substantially increase customers' access to Popeye's. Even though the fried chicken sandwich was unavailable for a few months after it sold out, the buzz generated by its debut had people talking about Popeyes anyway. The sandwich war will be tasty. And I'm ready for war. Popeyes has been around for decades and is best known for its fried chicken and biscuits. The fast food chain has coexisted with other chicken chains like KFC and Chick fil A without too much drama. However, Popeyes' release of a new menu item in 2019 sparked the so called chicken sandwich wars. The gloves were dropped and the competition was on. Like with any war, it's important to know who fired the first shot, and in this case, it seems as though it was Chick fil A. Even though other fast food chains such as Burger King and Wendy's offer chicken sandwiches, most of them were more focused on selling their hamburgers. Big hamburgers, small hamburgers too. 
Chick-fil-A was used to being the king of the fast food chicken sandwich, but heavy is the head that wears the chicken sandwich crown. Popeyes fired a shot across Chick-fil-A's brow with the surprise introduction of its own fried chicken sandwich, and the immediate popularity of this sandwich was a direct threat to Popeyes competitors because some people who were loyal hamburger customers changed their behavior. Some of them passed on the usual burgers so they could go to Popeyes and sample the new chicken sandwich. Quality counts. Made it in a rush. This is quality control. Some people don't think quality when they think about fast food, but the truth is there is some very good fast food out there and some not so good fast food. Customers can tell the difference, and not surprisingly, they prefer to spend their money on good food. Popeye's chicken has been known for making things like good drumsticks, popcorn chicken, and biscuits. When the chicken chain debuted its fried chicken sandwich, some people were skeptical. However, this skepticism soon turned to love for many people who tried it. The sandwich is made with fried chicken breast topped with pickles. The brioche bun is a cut above the average fast food bun. Microgreens on a gluten-free brioche bun. Apparently, Popeye's chefs went out of their way to use a special buttermilk batter, as well as a particular flour that would give the chicken an extra crunchy texture. In other words, this fried chicken sandwich unexpectedly unexpectedly raised the bar. People responded to the quality of the sandwich by buying them. A lot of them. They bought the sandwich in surprisingly big numbers, and some people attribute the monster sales to the social media coverage it received. The coverage certainly helped quite a bit, but the sandwich wouldn't have been a phenomenon if it wasn't a good product to begin with. Big Chicken How big? Huge! Fast food chains that focus on chicken, like Popeyes, Chick-fil-A, and Kentucky Fried Chicken, have always operated in the shadow of the hamburger giants like McDonald's and Burger King. Despite the continued dominance of beef in the fast food industry, Americans have tripled their consumption of chicken since 1960. The big chains have offered chicken sandwiches for decades now, but their own creators have always treated them as second fiddle. With the success of Popeyes Fried Chicken Sandwich, the fast food industry is on notice that chicken sandwiches can be a centerpiece of the menu. The chains will likely put an emphasis on taste, but also try to convince customers that chicken can be a healthier option than beef. Listen to me. They can't push this line too much because they can't afford to undermine the appeal of their hamburgers. It seems clear that chicken will continue to make up a bigger part of the menus with everything from chicken tenders to chicken nuggets, as well as a selection of chicken sandwiches. A grilled chicken sandwich with some lettuce and tomato would probably be one of the healthier choices you could make at a fast food chain, but they don't seem to be very popular. The truth is, fried chicken sandwiches taste a lot better than grilled chicken sandwiches, and this probably isn't going to change. Fast Food Phenomenon Yeah, I heard that was legendary. Marketing and advertising firms dream about coming up with a campaign for a product that would garner half the attention Popeye's fried chicken sandwich received for free. In the age of social media, customers took it upon themselves to give their take on the new item and generated an astounding amount of publicity. After Popeye's new chicken sandwich was boosted to success by customers raving about it on social media, fast food companies began to realize they didn't have to rely so much on expensive advertising campaigns. Instead, Instead, they started directing more of their energy towards social media, where millions of people are happy to tell you what they think of just about anything. Just my two cents. A viral post or clip could be more effective than advertising on television and in print. Social media is what the kids are doing, so it has a coolness factor compared to legacy media. The success of Popeye's fried chicken sandwich is inextricably linked to the viral reaction it received on social media. In 2019, Popeye's and its competitors all learned how much of an asset the various platforms are. So now, there is no going back. These social media platforms will only play a bigger role in the fast food chain's marketing efforts. BYOB. The invitation said BYOB. Introducing a product that is so popular with your customers that you run out of said product after two weeks is a pretty good problem to have, but it is still a problem. Popeye's fried chicken sandwich went viral when it was released, but the fast food chain wasn't fully prepared for the prospect of its monstrous success. When the fast food chain ran out of buns, it had to think fast. To its credit, Popeye's came up with a clever idea. With tongue-in-cheek, the chain told customers to bring their own buns to the store. 
store to make the sandwich. You can cook, right? After all, the store still had plenty of fried chicken tenders, even though the brioche buns were sold out. This bring your own bun, BYOB, promotion was a funny way to deflect from the disappointing shortage of buns and generated even more publicity about the fried chicken sandwich, even while customers couldn't get the sandwich they wanted. This new level of self-deprecating humor was one of the ways Popeye's chicken sandwich changed fast food. You might be wondering if anyone actually showed up at a Popeyes with their own bun expecting to build a fried chicken sandwich. While there's no real proof anyone did show up with their own bun, would you be surprised if a few people did? Probably not. The new hamburger? A new one? Unbelievable! Hamburgers have been the foundation of most fast food chains since the beginning. Sandwiches like McDonald's Big Mac or BK's Whopper are household names, and it seemed like beef burgers would always be king. However, the phenomenal success of Popeye's fried chicken sandwich may have been the beginning of a new focus on chicken sandwiches that someday could unseat the mighty burger. Popeye's fried chicken sandwich has definitely put a lot of attention on this hamburger burger alternative and has instigated a race among the other fast food chains to build a chicken sandwich that can rival the popularity of hamburgers. All the popular chains seem to be highlighting chicken sandwiches on their menus. You changed the game for everyone, Sarah. Grilled chicken sandwiches have been marketed as a healthier alternative to hamburgers, but fried chicken sandwiches can often be higher in fat and calories than hamburgers. It seems unlikely that chicken sandwiches will ever surpass iconic hamburgers like Burger King's Whopper, but it is telling that, at the moment, this burger chain has a total of seven different kinds of chicken sandwiches on its menu to choose from. It also offers chicken fries and chicken nuggets. At some point, will Burger King become the home of the chicken sandwich instead of the home of the Whopper? Back to the drawing board. You need to go back to the beginning. Businesses often borrow ideas from one another, and the highly competitive fast food industry is certainly no exception. Fast food chains sell a lot of similar menu items because they're all trying to cater to the same basic tastes of consumers. It seems like Popeye's competitors were caught off guard by the introduction of its fried chicken sandwich and by its enormous success. If imitation really is the sincerest form of flattery, then many of the fast food chains flattered Popeye's quite a bit. I'm the king. Competitors such as McDonald's, Taco Bell, and Wendy's all went back to their kitchens and got to work on their own chicken sandwiches. Before too long, Wendy's came out with an offering called the Classic Chicken Sandwich. This proved to be a decent menu item at Wendy's, but it did not get anywhere near the reaction the Popeye's sandwich got. McDonald's gave it a try as well by putting out a new chicken sandwich. However, according to one taste test, the McDonald's offering was inferior to Popeye's sandwich. Social media salvos. We should post something on social media. The feud between Popeyes and Chick-fil-A playing out on social media actually started in the kitchens of the two fast food chains. Dueling chicken sandwiches went toe-to-toe -to -toe on social media where the public battle was fought. However, this was only possible after both fast food chains had spent many hours experimenting with ingredients and recipes that would produce a chicken sandwich their customers just had to have. Sites like Twitter played an important, even outsized role in the chicken sandwich wars of 2019. Well, for one thing, it's all over Twitter. It was actually Chick-fil-A that fired the first shot on Twitter with a mild critique of Popeye's new fried chicken sandwich. After that, it was open season, with loyal customers customers from both fried chicken sandwich camps posting their thoughts about their beloved chicken sandwich of choice. The social media exchanges continued fast and furious even after the sandwich sold out after two weeks. These combatants are ripe to launch the next big fast food item, so we'll just have to wait and see what it is. Searching for another great video? Just tap or click and smash that subscribe button and ring that notification bell.